to Anything Goes Podcast, man. It's your boy, Sean Peoples. Hey, people, listen. If you like our vibes, you like the movement, like, subscribe, share. Comment in the comment section, man. Ring the notification bell so you can know when we hit 5,000 and you can get some of these cash prizes. So if you don't ring the notification bell, you won't know and you might miss out on your chance to get some cash and get some prices. Also, jump in the community tab and vote. Vote in all the situations and issues that you see taking place up there, man. It's just a way gauge the content that we give to you people so help us help you or just help us give you better content yeah i'm here with uh my bro skis them again man i'm here with uh shot man but they are with uh pms i'm here with reza yo brothers how y'all doing man we gotta uh we gotta talk kind of english proper english on this one because we want this to reach uh, our american brothers and sisters too so let's uh let's 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 put the patwa in a bag for, for our next conversation. So what's going on, Sharp man? How you doing, bro? Yeah, man, you know, living and loving life, man. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. Famous, what's going on with you? I'm here, man, back in the building. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Razor, what's, 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 what's popping? And I'm chilling, son. I'm chilling, man. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, hey, man. Yeah. You know, we're talking to me, me and Sharp man, been talking, talking to a couple of my uh other friends, also known as Bridgens in our in my in our community. Um, I wanna ask y'all, man, do y'all think that this whole non snitch policy is it hurting or helping the black community? What would you think? Is it is it destroying our community or is it helping it? What what you uh what you got to say on that? Um, famous. It's. It's right and wrong for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right and wrong. Snitching just, it boils down to whether you 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 telling something right or you just telling to be telling. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Because you have, you have um, criminals like really committing some serious crimes against old people, kids, whatever. That, that to me is not considered snitching. That to me yeah. is doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So if... It boils down to me telling and calling the cops because somebody hustling, trying to feed their family, or me telling on a rapist, I'm telling on a rapist all day. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, um, you have to delineate between right and wrong, period. Definitely. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, the, the, the necessity of, uh, in, in our community of, of snitching, as they would call it, it, I think it's a necessary evil in the black community because you have times when you have these guys are uh, committing uh, heinous crimes, hurting women, uh, breaking in old people's house, robbing the poor in the community that's already poor already. And how are these people going to uh, be able to maintain keeping a family together, keeping a family structure together, feeding themselves and their family if these guys are robbing them? So, you know, and... and and, and a thing that I, I want to explain again too, there's a difference between, uh, I think people don't understand what snitching is. There's a difference between me and you doing something and, and then I tell on you not to get any punishment or you doing something and then want me to be punished with you. That's not snitching. That's you being a horrible person or a horrible friend and thinking that I should go to jail for you when I have nothing to do with what you have going on. I, I don't see the sense in that. So, you know, um, Reza, what, what's your what's your thought on the situation in the community? I mean, uh, you, you brought up a good point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, the point is, if uh, if me and you was doing something together and 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 uh, and and I am I, I know that we was in this together and I get caught doing it now. You have to you have to eat that one. You have to take that loss. You know, you can't go and and go and, and, and tell on somebody else when you was the one that got caught, you know, you, you, you acknowledge what was going on. So, you know, there, there, there is a big difference. And, uh, you know, like you said, if, if you go and you rob, you, you, you kill, you rape and, and do stuff to old people, you know, me personally, I'm singing like a bird, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> There we go again. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Are you, so you singing soprano or tenor? Oh man, I'm I'm you singing, me. man. The, the you sound like uh, key, man. falsetto. <laughs> He's singing falsetto, high pitch. 
<laughs> no, no, but uh, no, but seriously, man, you know, uh, we have to we have to differentiate what 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 is and what isn't, you know. And, That's true. and yeah, you, definitely. You terrorizing the community and and, and breaking into somebody else because me personally, if you come and break into my house, you, my security, my peace, my everything is is shattered. And if just imagine if you have your wife, you have kids, every time they're coming in their house. They're yeah, going. They, they, yeah. they're, they're going to be thinking about. It. They're going to have a fear factor. So you just ruin that whole thing, you know. So you know that that them type of things, man. If if somebody go and do that, they they need to they need to be caught. They need to be punished for it, you know. Um, that's because I, I look at it as as something that hey, that's not right. And yeah, you know, you look at it as you're doing the right thing. Yeah, you know, you're doing the right thing by defending yourself and the community by. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Tell it on the culprits, period. Yeah. I mean, in, in some circumstances, I'm gonna tell you that uh uh you break into somebody like my house, and I know for a fact that it's yours, it's in probably best best decision for you know the people in the community to snitch on you. Because mm -hmm. you know, you gotta have to pay the piper and you might not like <laughs> the price that you had to pay. I said that the other day, man. It's in some cases you might want to go to jail. It's yeah. better off for you because I've uh, growing up in some of the places I've grown up, I didn't see people get really hurt. You know what I'm saying? After they get caught from doing something stupid in the community, so some of them might just want to go to jail. That's probably the best option. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what it comes down to. It at, at the end of the day, shot man. Um, what, what's what's your feeling on this situation? I know we have, we have spoke about this uh a few times, and you know the. Uh, the emotions that you you talk about it and but just the the destruction that this thing kind of does to the community without people really realizing what's going on. Um, you know, throw your, throw your theses out there to us, my brother. Yeah, I mean, I I think snitching is a cancer uh, in our community in particular. Uh, you know, the, the term snitching, being a rat, um, as we say back on the island, in pharma, whatever whatever you want to use uh, to describe. Um, you know, telling on someone uh, for whatever reason. Um, so, you know, like you've all been saying, there's there's good uh, and, and there's evil, there's wrong and right. And, and there's a time um, to actually speak up and say something. And then there are other times when maybe it really doesn't concern you because it's, it's not something that you're involved in um, or that's hurting the community per se. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's, I think if it's something where it's a, against the guys that's in that life together, then, you know, between them, they can call it whatever they want to call it, which is the term is, is snitching. Mm -hmm. But also, I, I think it's rough for us um, just because um, our young people, they see it on TV, you know, in the movies. And, and it, you know, in that sense, it, it's it's almost a badge of honor not to snitch right in, in the movies and everything. So, it, I mean, we keep seeing that perpetuated, you know, over and over again. And, you know, with that kind of thing, and they and they, then they hear it on the street in, in the neighborhood not to do that. So when they see something that's obviously wrong, when they should be telling, they're not because they they all deem it together as snitching. And, and, and you'll hear one friend telling the other friend, hey, man, don't snitch, man. You know, when really, you know, like you say, if it's something that's happening to somebody, you know, an old lady getting robbed or somebody breaking somebody's house, when they really should be speaking up and, and, and telling which is going to ultimately help our community. We just can't get we just can't get that done because again they're seeing it out in, in you know on TV and, and in the movies and it's it's being glorified as as like a badge of honor uh, not not to do that. Yeah, the whole thing's being misappropriated right now. What it really was meant to do or not do, um, but in a sense, you know, some people can say, well, you can't pick and choose when you want to snitch. Is either you're going to tell everything or don't tell nothing at all because we, between us or some people, might decide, okay, um, somebody hustling, that ain't our business. When to others, they might say that is their business because if you're hustling in the computer, exactly, you know what I'm saying? The kids getting hooked on drugs or, or, get, or kids selling drugs, you know, whatever the case may be because you know, you got hustlers that recruit kids to do their dirty work. So it's kind of like, um, are we going to pick and choose and say, okay, that's okay. And this is not, are we just going to clean it up all together and just say, Hey, listen, you know, if you're doing anything wrong in my community, I'm telling. I, I think for the betterment of the community, it probably go in all folds of, um, just doing the right thing all around. 
but I will say that, you know, um, Darren down the street selling some herbs, you know, uh, um, uh, it's not to me, it's not really destroying my community. Now, in, in a sense of Darren moving weight and gang violence and stuff like that coming inside of the community. And so the kids at the school, yeah, the local private school, yeah. 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 That's a whole different yeah. topic. Yeah, of- I mean, I mean, weed, you know, we, you know, I, I don't even consider that uh, in, in the same category as, as hard drugs, you know, but like you said, if it, co- if it comes with, it's just, yeah. If it comes to violence, yeah. If it, if it comes to violence and, 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 and yeah, if, if it comes to violence and gangsterism or whatever and all that stuff, yeah, then by all means, I think we ought to root it out, um, you know, altogether. Uh, and so, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah but because you look at it, uh, for for me, weed also is, you know, hey, weed is being legalized everywhere in in the United States right now. You it's, know, it's America's so, number one yeah. uh, most expensive cash crop right now. <laughs> America has yeah, yeah, America yeah. has bamboozled the world into <laughs> thinking they shouldn't sell weed, so now they're gonna control the distribution of weed around the whole world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that, it, 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 it's crazy that they made it illegal until they could profit off of it. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I mean, but, that's just what it is. I mean. Yeah, it, it, and yeah, at the end of the day, you, you know, when they just started legalizing and started doing all these pop-ups, I think that they, maybe it's still that way, but I think they don't allow them to put their money in the bank either. So that's why they have to have so much security on hand when they do have these dispensaries and these pop-ups because they're not allowed to put their money in the bank. To in, in some places, because the federal, because the federal, it's still not legal in the federal government. Exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy that they, you know, I mean, but that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. But, we can talk about that all day. But, but back back to the um the the the, the snitching. Yeah, we need we need to get back on that. Mm-hmm. When uh when when in the community, like I was saying, when 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 Darren comes to Darren's running a gang now and Darren having some shootout going, uh bullets flying through um Grandma Kim's home, and she been living in the community since uh, our parents was kids. Now that's that's definitely destruction to the community. And at Sorry, some point, pay. yeah, some point you got to be an adult with yourself and stop following foolish philosophies of snitches get stitches, or, or you know we don't we don't we don't tell or inform for dead. Those are yeah. uh, foolishness that that cramps the black community. Yeah, and we I have to stop that. promoting that. We just have I, to stop promoting that. I think that uh, it's used to hurt the community by others because they promote that enough too. And uh, just to, just a side note, one time, yeah, I do remember last year the the ex president was on TV calling the people that were were outing him about the illegal stuff that he was doing snitches. So and, and but, he, but it, it, other it, words it's, it's, it's used, it, but he isn't used that funny though? Purposely because yeah. he wanted people to. To identify with that word, yeah, and to, to, to make it to make it like it was okay for them not to tell yeah. on him, <laughs> nah, but, but, to normalize that. Yeah, <laughs> but and, and, if, and if and if you're doing wrong, you're doing wrong. You know, you can't you can't normalize wrong. You know, yeah. especially when you're doing something illegal. No, no, yeah, I, but but nah, well, in certain places, yeah, people have normalized wrong. No, yeah. but, but the thing that you can't do, you can't make wrong right or right wrong. Yeah, but right is always going to be right, and wrong is always wrong. But it's just a form of manipulation. That's what it was. It was a yeah. form of him being able to manipulate people and control people. So he yeah. used those words, you know, those those what you what you call those um um punch Buzz, words or buzzwords, buzz, buzz buzzwords, words. <laughs> high identification words. So people yeah. be like oh, manipulation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all, and, it's and, all and, and, and it's like watching a commercial. You know, the first time you watch a commercial, you're not really interested, you know, until you watch it like 10 times and you're like, oh man, that soda looks good. <laughs> or, or, or that that new snack looks good, right? So you keep hearing that, and and it becomes it's in the back of your mind, subconsciously that oh man, I shouldn't tell. I should just go ahead and keep looking yes. the other way. And it's you know, he, yeah, he so. told them not to believe their lying eyes or their ears. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty much, you can't, you can't do that because at the end of the day, I look at it like this, man. If if 
if you go and you shoot up somebody's house and you and, and you go and kill some other people, hey, you got to go down for it. You know, that's 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 just how I look at it. Because Especially if, you, if it's innocent people. Yeah, yeah. if, if exactly. you wanted somebody, you got to make sure you get that person. And usually that's what happened. When these clowns go to kill each other, they don't just kill each other. They kill other people. They, yeah. you know, they accidentally shoot kids. They accidentally, you know, it's one thing if they was just taking each other out. Yeah. They, they damaging the community while they're doing it you see when 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 people say uh don't snitch it, it it's it's more of a uh a, a scapegoat that, that that they're using to 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 say i don't want to get involved it's like cowardness it is being a coward because instead of you stepping up and saying you know these, these kids, yeah these kids breaking in this this woman house she's 70 80 years old She's on social security. She don't know where, you know, retirement, social security, and they're going in there taking, taking all her stuff. And instead of us reporting that, we're calling that snitching. That's yeah, not snitching. I, and and I, I understand what you're saying about being a coward uh, in certain circumstances, because a lot of folks uh, are um, scared of retribution yeah. by, the, by these would-be criminals, right? Um, but again, you can go tell um, the authorities, Without them, without them releasing your identity, I mean, you can do that. It's it's the we, problem we becomes like that. Talk, talk, man, it do sound kind of rough. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm just saying. I mean, you I'm can a, go. You can go report uh, it to the authorities with without you know them releasing your identity. Now to think now in certain places now you know where the authorities are in bed with the criminals, mm -hmm. your identity may get out. So again, I understand why some folks are scared of retribution, you know, definitely. why they're, why they're not speaking up sometimes. I, I get that. What I said was a joke a while ago, but definitely <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's in, and, and to be honest, people use that in that context. Cause hey, I've, I've been around a situation where guys justify snitching with how it sounds. So if I, if I said it like this, you know, it's not really snitching then, huh? And, you know, at, the, at that age, I'm younger. So everything to me is snitching. Oh, you, you, right. you're snitching. Now I'm older, living in a community, uh, building uh, um, generational wealth and doing all this stuff. And I'm realizing that how, uh, how much damage myself has caused to the community. So I guess in, in life, you try to fix the damage that you cause, I, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I mean we all we all have to contribute, you know. We all have to do our part. It's you called have, growth and maturity. <laughs> yeah, and 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 also you you have to pass it down to to your kids so they they understand at a younger age so <clears throat> the same mistake you have made when you was younger. You don't you, your kids don't grow up and make that 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 same mistake because in in life you always try to make a make stuff better for your kids so. He could tell his kids and his kids could tell their kids. And, you know, at, at one point, you know, we, we, we all could be better. <laughs> well, you bring that up. I, I have a, uh, I have a, a, a friend uh, that um, his kid is usually, uh, and, and this happened to my kid before once or twice. They usually see something happen in class and they want to tell. And you'd be like, hey, man, keep your mouth closed and stop. <laughs> It starts from us from we young. When I think about it, I remember saying that, hey, man, keep your mouth closed and don't be snitching. You know what happened to snitches? But <laughs> well, worse than that, you do it with your kids when they snitch on each other at home. Because, you know, exactly. I, got, I got kids and I, my son or my daughter might, might come to me and be like, dad, so-and-so. And, -so, and I'm, first thing I'm looking at, like, yo, you real comfortable snitching right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we do it jokingly at home, but... They it's look at that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, something yeah, yeah. Thought it's, from young it is something that's as implementing. We implementing that in their mind because you know, like you said, the kids come in the house and they do something, and you look at them. They all staring at each other. They all, you know, they don't know mm -hmm. what to do, but they feel like they snitching because we done taught them, don't yeah. snitch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not like I, Razor. Razor said he tell them everything. I'm singing, singing, I'm singing, singing like, like a, a bird. bird. Yeah. <laughs> Alto soprano, yeah. <laughs> the lead singer. Yeah, just, but yeah. I mean, here, here's the thing, my brothers. How we how we fix the situation? How do we? Uh, you know, uh, for me, I feel like OGs in the area. Uh, uh, not even want to say OGs, adults, more mature guys in the area that used to been through the, the same situation. 
uh, individuals speak to these kids. You know, when you say OG, a lot of people take it as something different. So let's say mature people in the, in the area that used to be through the same thing. You know, but you know, uh, you know what though? We need to st- we 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 as a community, we have to stop leaving it to the people on the streets uh, to tell our to tell our kids what yeah, to I was do. About to say we got so we, we, we need to take it back. We take it back at, at to the home to people that are like you know. I said it, t- it takes a village. I get that part. So the people that are closest to them that they know as close family, friends, family, those are the folks that need to get up and speak up and say, hey, you know, we need to we need to break that cycle, break that mindset. And, 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 you know, and talk to them about what, what is really snitching and, and, and that, the, the, you know, that term is just not a great term uh, yeah, for somebody is. doing some for somebody doing the right thing or not doing the right thing. Yeah, it, yeah. Sh- it shouldn't be. It shouldn't even be if you tell you're snitching. It should be if you tell you're doing the right thing, uh, you know, yeah. and, and the other and the other side of it is if you guys are criminals together, then you guys call it what you want over yeah. there. Yeah. I, I, I definitely agree with what you're saying, Sharpman, because, you know, I, I, I look at it like this, but I want to take it a, a step further, you know, going back to what, you know, what you said about OG or mature adults. But sometimes these kids, they, they, they don't take things from, from, from their parents. Sometimes they, they take stuff from different people, you know, yeah. and, and, you and yeah, because you, you could say something to your kid, and uh, and he 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 won't get it. But when somebody else say it to him, it's like it resonates yep, to them a different, to yeah, different kind of way. So, like you say, it kind of takes the, the 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 village, but you have to still do your part as the parents to yep. let them know. Yeah, the yeah, irony definitely. in that is sometimes you know my old I have uh, older homeboys with uh, with 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 kids, right? And sometimes I feel like their kid their um centering me sometimes it sometimes it's like a, a a badge of honor and then it's like a yeah here you go again you know i guess because i'm the ignorant person so i gotta go <laughs> talk to you know i gotta go talk to your, your ignorant son but it it, it, it you know it, it kinds of it kind of roll off your sleeve sometimes but i guess as you get more mature you think about it because you know i sometimes i feel like i help ruin a generation of of of, of people coming up and and Razor is right that sometimes my homeboys talking to their kids, man, and they're not listening. And I go over there and I say the same thing his pops just said in sometimes the same words. And he like, I get it. I get it. I get what you're saying, Uncle Sean. Yeah, and exactly. like, I just told that fool the same thing. A while ago. <laughs> what it is. Listen, listen, man, I already know this, man, because I, I, I coach. I coach youth soccer and I coach my son. And sometimes it, it pissed me off that I tell my son that one thing, the same thing another coach tell him, but it registers more. Sometimes they just need to hear a different voice yeah. because you don't know how they view that person. You know what I'm saying? They might view you, your pops as your pops. You know what I'm saying? He, he's just lecturing you again. But to hear somebody else echo the same thing your pops just said, now you really listen. Be like, maybe pops know what he's talking about for real because so-and-so yeah. believe the same thing. And, and I like so-and-so because yeah. so-and-so is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it could be a thing just they're familiar. They're regular with you. They're, they're not, you know what I'm saying? And then somebody else is kind of like, it's not that same person, but it's the same sentiment being echoed and they respect and look up to that person just like they do with you but yeah. you you're a regular voice in their head when that person might not be so i i, I get that man because like i said i coach my son and sometimes i'm like i just told you that and you, you don't listen to him tell you that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you like man you know i, I can see my own but sometimes he, he like that's what i'll call you over there I, yeah. yo, yo, word for word, I just told you know he like yeah. I just told this fool word for word. And, I get it. Yeah, he looking yeah. stupid. Now he understand what you're saying. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, like I was talking Swahili to him or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, sharp man. As as a uh as, as a guy I know that got older sons, uh, have you ever been through that situation where you're trying to tell your son this is this is a uh a certain way how things should go? And they not getting it from you, but maybe if your your brother or, or another friend mention it to them, they it, it's a whole it's in a whole different light. Uh, not really too much. I've been like more fortunate with uh, with my kids, man. Um, just just kind of it's like I got two boys and two girls, so we kind of it, it was more like if mom or dad said it, you know, they may listen to one 
or take it differently from the other mm. at times in their life, right? At different stages in their life. But yeah, I mean, there, I mean, there's been the times when maybe their friends, parents said something and they may have heard it a little different. I'm sure that's happened. Mm. But but for the for the most part, um, they've been actually pretty good at listening to mom and pops for the most part. Matter of fact, their their friends like to come to our house to listen and, yes. and hear what we and hear what we have to say. So we're kind of the cool parents, uh, you know, at well, that time. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Maybe you're you're the guy that has the influence that, yeah. that they will, you know, they would yeah. rather listen to. Yeah. So so, so their so their friends came to us, uh, you know, and spent a, a lot of time at our house. So they kind of really was, you know, we were like the cool parents are like, yeah, what I'm they're saying, what they're saying must be right. Yeah. Right, I'm right. sending my 22 year old over son over there to you. So <laughs> he's still a knucklehead at some time. I'm still, sometimes I'm still like, not, not, not anybody in there. <laughs> I, I, I got him. I got him, man. I can, I can relate to the kids, man. They, they like when I talk to them. Yo, listen, I ain't got no patience for it sometimes. So I'm gonna send my 22 year old son over there. I got you. Like, I listen, got you. Go listen you know, to Sean, man. It's it's a situation that I realize is rough with 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 my friends, man. I see I see that situation there, but the influence that 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 the community have on our kids that hurts when it comes to this snitching thing. You know, I said all of this to to bring it back to to what if a guy like me was really just saying, I mean, you know, hey, your father's talking nonsense. Be honest, mm-hmm. Just go out there and do what you need to do. You know what I mean? Um, break a leg or two, breaking that. You know, you, you want some money? You know, yeah. Hey, nobody tell her to leave her money on her table. She, she yeah, had eighty years old. She should have. She had eighty years to know. You can't just leave money out like that. Go through that window and get it. What if I was? You know, what if I was yeah. a guy like that? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I th- I think influence come from the community, and maybe we have to, uh, like centralize some of the guys in the communities that we know have that influence and try and see if we can get them to maybe rope the kids back in to 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 start thinking a different type of way because we yeah. might can get them to rope back in and then they might can get the kids to rope back in yeah Definitely. because but, 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 but I, I agree with that but the guys in that in the community that you're talking about they have to be reiterating what we already saying at home you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It yeah. has to start at home. It can't. They can't start there because some people, like Charlie yeah, was definitely. saying, leave leaving the hood to raise their kids. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna. I'm, I, I want the guys on the streets to reiterate some of the things that I'm saying and reinforce them things that I'm saying at home. So hey. they can be like, "Yo, your pops ain't wrong," or your, you know what I'm saying. Your parents it, it, it's, are right. It, it's not the guy that's that's 65 on the corner with his hat tilted backwards and his pants sagging. You, 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 you don't you don't you don't want that guy drinking a drinking a thing of old E saying oh, you know man, you telling your kids anything. Again, they're gonna be mad at me because they say I'll be out here talking about old guys dressing young. I was just using that as an example. Oh, man, bring it back up. Hey, hey listen. Listen, that's not dressing young, bro. I dress young. That's not dressing young, bro. I dress young. I wear, I, wear, I, wear, I wear my skinny jeans. I got a little rip in them sometimes, but my I pants ain't behind. My pants ain't down up, down to the back of my knees, and my hat ain't to the back of us. I'm not. I'm not on the corner talking about hey, youngin. That's the difference. I'm not on the corner saying hey, youngin. That's not. That's not it. Yeah, but you know, yeah, let, let me sell you a dime bag of weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go, right there. There you go. Got prime, no prime example. Oh, we'll steal so much of mama purse. Go back to you, you know, you know uh, that old lady down there, her window. Go get the money off her table, like we've been talking. You just reach it. You ain't even got to climb it. Just reach it, <laughs> brothers. I, I think that you're right. And, and not even to throw this off, just 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 to touch this real quick. Like I said before, with uh, in the situation with with Movado, after he beat the ghetto, come out of the ghetto, and uh, for those who don't know, that's when we watching Movado as a Jamaican uh, music star, dancehall superstar. His son got arrested on murder charges in jail right now. But for you to beat the ghetto and then the ghetto come back and beat your kid, that's I mean, that's a loss. He right? with him. I don't yeah, understand. He brought, that. he brought the ghetto with him. No sense. I'm saying they didn't leave it behind. They beat the ghetto, but they left it behind. They brought it with them. I, I, and I don't really want to. I don't want to just blame him for the situation that his son also put himself in. But if I know where I come from, like I pride myself in saying I'm raising a punk. You know, I pride myself in saying that because I don't want my kid 
to, to react to situations like I react. I don't want my kid to be anything like me when it comes to that type of, uh, when it comes to that. So I, I try not to, to, to put that in. So uh, it's rough, man. It, it's rough. Uh, we're going we're gonna to sign off with that. Um, my brothers, thank y'all for coming through. This the Anything Goes podcast. Your boy, Sean Peoples. Like, subscribe, share, comment in the comment section, ring the notification bell. People. And stop skipping the commercials. Yeah, don't skip the commercials. And stay tuned. We got a lot of positive information coming out there to y'all, man. It's the Anything Goes podcast. I'm here with Sharp, man. I'm here with Mr. Razor. I'm here with Gary Famous, man. We out of here.